Okay, so welcome to me doing a little bit of a random video, uh, and you can blame uh, Mountain Dew Mania for this because we are doing a series together uh, on the FTB Infinity Lite uh, server provided by Reek, which I'll take this opportunity to thank Reek personally for allowing us to do that. Uh, that's uh, pretty awesome of you, so thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, and uh, off camera, me and Mountain Dew talk, and we started talking about collections and random things, and she said I should show off my collection because it sounded fairly decent. Um, but I don't know if it is, it's probably small compared to most people's, but uh, here we go. So first of all, we have uh, some... Disney Infinity figurines here, uh, the Star Wars collection to begin with. Uh, these are the original series from Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Luke and Leia in and out of box. Hopefully it's going to clear up for you, there we go. Uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca there in the corner which is uh, a bit askew at the moment, I don't know why that is. Must have got knocked. Uh, then, just above them, we have the Star Wars Rebels collection. Uh, I don't know all their names. Darth Maul in the middle of them. He's kind of separate to most of them. He's not part of the Rebel. Well, he is. That's why I put him there. Uh, he is the main uh, antiquitous, uh, main villain in it, uh, from what I understand. I haven't actually seen the series, but I really do kind of want to. But So that's why Darth Maul's there. And then we've got the other two. Just above we have the Clone War era with Yoda. Uh, can't remember her name. <laughs> uh, Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then just above them we have the uh, new people from the new series, including the Hulkbuster. <laughs> uh, so we've got Kylo Ren, uh, Ray. And Finn and then Poe. Like I said, the camera is not focusing today, I do apologise for that. Uh, but like I said, I do have the Hulk Buster as a random Marvel character. Uh, just because I really do like how that looks. And that's really why I did collect all of these. Uh, because of how they look. Because even though they are meant for a video console. Uh, and to be you so you can play the characters in a video game the models themselves are really well done as far as I'm concerned but as you can see they're all in box apart from one or two which are out of the box uh, and that's because I had to recollect them because they, unfortunately the ones that they came in uh, got damaged and the ones here I originally bought uh, and I didn't actually realise but the box itself was stapled together so I decided to rebuy them uh, so yeah, anyway, now to the actual main collection, which I think most people would be interested in, and that's this little lot up here, my pop vinyl collection. As you can see, there's a fair few of them, and you may have also had a few hintings of a couple of exclusives as well. Uh, so, starting over here, uh, we have the Rogue One collection, which is... Jin Erso, Captain Andor, uh, I can't pronounce some of these names, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, Chirit Emwi, <laughs> uh, Baze, Blaze Malbus, uh, a Scarif, I'm trying to get the light so it's not on them. Scarif, Stormtrooper, uh, an Imperial Death Trooper, Darth Vader himself, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it positioned right. Uh, let's try this bit with me. Is that any better? No, unfortunately not, because that's the light from my curtains. Uh, <laughs> can't really do much about it, sorry. Uh, the next one we've got... Uh, if it focuses... Come on, camera. There we go, direct uh, Kenick. There. Uh, K2SO. C2B5. Uh, now into the Waves 2 editions, which is Bodhi, which is a, a special edition one, as you can see with the sticker. 
uh, Young Jesso in, uh, Galen Herso, uh, We Chief. I'm hoping that's coming through okay. I can't really see the camera at the moment. Uh, the Star, the Death Star Droid in black. I'm after the white version of them. Uh, a couple of endums up here. Uh, Kit Festo, the Inquisitor from Rebels. Uh, and an Imperial Spy, I'm not even going to pronounce that. Uh, then going back down here, a few other random ones that I like the look of. Uh, C-3PO and R2-D2, because you can't have one without the other. Uh, then we've got Focus, there we go. Uh, Ray and Finn. Captain Phasma, who is a Smuggler Bounty Edition. Uh, and it's in Chrome, so that was a nice one to get to my mind. Uh, Han Solo, Chewbacca, BB-8, I like that droid. Uh, another Smuggler's Bounty of Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Ben Kenobi as he's known in this one. Uh, IG-88, Luke Skywalker, uh, a random alien called Mustak, and he's a 2017 Spring exclusive. As you can see there, if you know anything about Star Wars, he's actually having some blue milk. Uh, then we go on to... Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy collection that I've got. So we've got Baby Groot, Rocket, Drax, Glamora, Star Lord, Nebula, Mantis, Ego, and Taserface. Uh, they are just normal ones that you can get, but they're all after the Guardians of the Two. Uh, film, which I have still yet to see, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, I am, it's still going to be that long before it comes out on Blu-ray, so hopefully we should be good there. Uh, then the last two, uh, which are two of my tried and joys. Here we go. So here we've got uh, Darth Vader in his TIE Fighter, which as you can see on the stickers, which are an exclusive and part of the 40th anniversary collection as well which is very cool and then last one and i just had to have him uh, deadpool the duck which is also an exclusive as well so yeah very pleased that i've got them too and they are a couple of my favorites as well uh, i've just recently ordered four more pot vinyls or star wars and if people want to see them i will show them to you uh, but yeah that is my main collection there. I have got some other Star Wars figurine but they are in another area of the house and I'm not going to run down to show them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, I know these guys aren't particularly that exciting. I know they're not really worth that much apart from him uh, because you can still pick these guys up. I mean, I went into a toy store the other day. I know. Uh, and I saw them on for about £4 each. Uh, £6 for the double set. And uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I think I get these for a very different prices as well. Uh, most of them have free advertisement for a one stop game, but most of them are about twelve ninety nine. Uh, some of the others are a bit more expensive at uh, 20 My most expensive one, which I know I got ripped off on, but I kind of just jumped at getting him was Bodie at £25. I think he's now worth uh, about 20 Uh But, uh, yeah, that was my mistake. I just picked him up because, uh, you know, you see an exclusive and you want one. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, most of the others I've done fairly well. I mean, uh, Ben can all be there. Uh, he's probably worth about £20-ish. Pound. Sorry, tw uh, 20 Yeah. I got them under that, so uh, maybe 25 35 can't quite remember at the moment, but I got them for about £20.50 off uh, a website, so I'm fairly pleased. See, I got ripped off in some places, but then I think I've got done fairly well. Now, I know these not, aren't exactly the most exciting collectibles to have, uh, there are better, but when you're on a budget, I think these are really kind of cool, to my mind. So, anyway, I'm going to leave this here because I think I'm starting to ramble 
And like I say, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you didn't, go to Man on Jules channel, go check her out and tell her to stop making me do videos like this. Okay. <laughs> so thanks for joining me and I will see you later. Bye.